I grew up my whole life, my whole childhood, and a good part of my adult life um, into my 30s, um, not knowing what my diagnosis was. I had been told my whole life that what I had was not genetic. I got married and I had my son Christopher. I have to, I have to have another child. I just, something was, you know, pulling me towards that. Grace, you know, for all we could tell was fine. You know, we were sitting in, in the examining room and he said, well, she has what you have. And I said, well, what's that? He said, I think CMD. 2004, when she found out that she had charcot marie tooth disease because her daughter began to have a wobbly walk at age two. It's hard to kind of weed out you know, myself from my yeah. daughter, you know, like those feelings, like, because it was not really time for me to say, oh, I finally yeah, yeah. know what I have, <laughs> you know, like, yes. So we decided yeah. to write a, a book, and our idea was you take Junie B. Jones, slap some leg braces on her, see what happens, right? Yeah, why not? We now go to elementary schools across the country and talking to them about this idea of disability as difference. And then the other layer we've added that's kind of evolved is what empathy is and how empathy differs from pity for sure and sympathy even. How empathy is this kind of, I think, a feeling that sure it comes naturally sometimes but not all the time and so right. we have to practice it. Right, and like wanting to understand not just oh, you know, poor you. Right, you know, because that's the first reaction. I really reaction. wouldn't want to be you. Yeah. <laughs> I get it, you know, I don't want you. I used to say she was my angel, you know, sent, you know, to save me, and um, she's here for a purpose. I know what I have now, and, I, and, I, and I'm trying to do everything I can to help. Your daughter, your son, your sister, your brother, you're just a kid who likes to have fun. Tall and proud, soaring cloud, reach for the highest star. But don't forget who you are, and don't forget who you are.